G'day guys, welcome back. We're down here at the dam. The DIY uh, solar powered aerator has stopped working. So we've got to do some investigating and find out why it's not uh, blowing air bubbles in the dam. Um, got all my tools in the car. Just finished up, uh, did a couple of weeks work at a local cattle station. I painted the inside of one of their buildings and put down some flooring. So I am back to being unemployed. So it's time to do some jobs around the place here, starting with fixing the aerator. So let's go and have a look and see what's going wrong with it. You may have also noticed my new bright orange hat. Same color as my shirt. Anyway, let's grab the multimeter and we'll go and have a look. You probably see in the background there, the water level has increased significantly in the dam. It was actually up quite a bit higher than this. Um, rain probably about a week ago. And yeah, it was almost full. It's almost going over the spillway there. So, we've had a little bit of rain lately, but that's not what we're here for. Let's go and take a look. Right, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up very well, but you may be able to see there is mud splashes all over the milk crate, and it looks like up underneath there as well. So that may be a problem. Something might have got wet that shouldn't have. But I'll rip that concrete paver off the top, pull everything apart, we'll grab the multimeter, and. Uh, see what voltages we are getting so let's do it first thing I can see is there's a spider web nest in the buck control boost converter whatever it's called um, let's have a look Multimeter, it's on volts DC. I'll just check the solar panel output. So we're getting 22 volts DC from the solar panel, so that's making power, that's good. Need to get a tiny screwdriver. fixed it. I don't really know what I did though. Alrighty, so the air pump's running again. Doesn't seem to be running as hard as it was. I don't know if just something got wet in there the other day and it just stopped, but it hasn't rained for a few days, so maybe it's just dried out. I'll just see if I can move the panel around, get some more sun on it, see if it increases its um, output on the pump. Let's try that. Alrighty, so the only thing I can see is the output voltage of the boost converter is around about 11 volts. So it should be a little bit higher than that. I've tried the little adjustment screws on it, but it doesn't seem to change anything. So maybe it's got a little bit wet and it's just acting a bit, I don't know, fucked. So at least it's pumping. You can probably see in the background, it's a few bubbles in there. I'll play around with it a little bit more and see if we can get a bit more production but I've really got to read the instructions uh, that came with the thing to see there's a couple of different knobs you can twist and they don't seem to do anything anymore so I'll do a bit of googling and we'll get back to you. All right jumped on the phone googled the specs found out there's two potentiometers on the buck boost converter one is to increase or decrease the output voltage the other one is to increase or decrease the output current um, the multimeter I have only reads AC current, so I can only measure the DC uh, voltage output. So I'm just guessing the amps for the other side, but I've got it to about 13 volts, which seems to run the pump a bit further. I'll set up the camera and twist the knobs and you'll be able to see the voltage going up and down. All right, I've got the probes of the multimeter into the output socket of the boost converter. 
Multimeter is sitting there. What are we at? 13.6, 13.7 volts. I'll just twist the uh, potentiometer with the screwdriver and should be able to see it changing. There you can see it's going down, down, down as I'm twisting the little knobs. I don't know what I had it set up before because I never checked it with the multimeter. It just worked. I think it was a bit high and it might have, I don't know, overheated the motor or whatever. So I'll just put it to about 13 volts. There we go, 13.2, that'll do. And now I'll plug the pump back in. That sounds a bit better. Um, a little bit stronger. We'll leave it at that. And we'll um, see how it goes from there. Like I said, I don't know if something got a bit hot or whatever because I didn't check it when I first hooked it up. It just worked, so I left it. But now it's running at around about the right voltage that it needs. It's a 12-volt pump. Got it on about 13 volts, so I don't know. I can see bubbles again, so that's good. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is probably just going to be a real quick little video. I've been bloody busy the last couple of weeks and I've probably skipped a week or so of uploading, so I don't know when I'll chuck this up, but we fixed the maybe broken aerator. I don't even know if it was fucked or whatever, but it's working again. So Good to see a bit of water in the dam and uh, the bubbles flowing again. So we'll see you on the next one. Catch ya.